kind of look like a firefighter. Hey, happy welcome. Two nice words to welcome you to the vlog. Happy Wednesday and welcome to the vlog. Let's see, a little recap on my Monday and Tuesday. Monday was President's Day, so it was kind of like a day off. I keep feeling like I keep saying I'm hungover on Mondays and that's like really bad, but it was Super Bowl and then it was Valentine's Day and I drank a lot of wine and I've realized in this ripe old age of 27 that I shouldn't drink wine anymore. It's like fun, we're having fun, we're having fun. Oh, is that her fourth glass? And then it kind of just starts going downhill pretty quick. If I have like a two, great. Shouldn't go past two glasses. Not bottles, glasses. Those are my words of wisdom. So, and then Tuesday, I think Tuesdays I just get sad. I don't know what it is about Tuesdays. I just start contemplating everything and I feel like I can't do anything and there's also nothing to do, you know what I mean? So, we actually went to a restaurant on Monday night, which we haven't done in probably like six months four to six months outdoor restaurant on Monday and just had like an actual date because I think that was important um, to do because it's just hard, you know, being in the house all the time and whatnot. And it was really, really nice to like actually get out of the house and like get dressed up for each other. I don't know, you guys. And now here we are, it's Wednesday. I didn't wake up on the right side of the bed to be completely honest, but I'm starting to feel better. So yeah, I got some stuff in the mail. Some I remember last week I told you guys how I like ordered a bunch of clothes and stuff from Sephora and stuff. So I got all of that in the mail. So I'm gonna show you all of that. Hello, welcome to uh, this video. First off, um, a couple things before we get going. This is actually one of my favorite vlogs also, by the way. So I hope you guys like it. Fashion review of the Grammys is coming. It's just gonna be later. This video is sponsored by Bright Sellers. So Bright Sellers is a monthly wine club that matches you with wine you will love. I love Bright Sellers so much. I really like drinking wine, but I don't know exactly what to look for just on my own. All you have to do is fill out this easy seven question quiz that's like easy questions, not super like wine snobbish. And then they take your answers and they figure out what tastes you like and they send you wines that fit exactly what you like. And as you continue to use the service, you can rate the wines you like and you don't like so then it knows more and more what your preferences are. And it gets even more accurate. They give you a card describing each one. Look, it matches up. It tells you the different flavors in there, what you should pair it with, where it's from. I mean, it's just so cool. You learn so much. I'm really excited to try this one because I like white wines and this is like supposedly like a crisp, dry Chardonnay, which I'm realizing that is good for me. So if you guys want to give Bright Sellers a try, just click the link in my description and you can get 50% off your first six bottle box plus an extra bottle, so that's seven bottles. I'm gonna go crack one of these open. It's still light outside, that's fine. <laughs> um, enjoy the vlog, love you. I put on my workout outfit which is this from Set Active. I had to go take Chili to get groomed and so I didn't do my Peloton yet and then I haven't eaten all day and I didn't want to do my Peloton on an empty stomach so I ordered a little in little burrito. And you're probably thinking, Kelsey, there's no such thing as a little burrito. Well, there is. El Pollo Loco has little burritos called the BRC, the bean rice and cheese burrito and they're just tiny little burritos, just a little quick snack and then I'm gonna have that and then I'll work out and then I'll pick up chili or maybe that'll go in a different order. I don't know, maybe I'll grab a Starbucks, maybe I won't. Who the fuck really knows, you guys? <laughs> I really do look like a firefighter. Hey. Yeah. All right, but let's see what I got from Sephora. And I got some stuff from Set Active that I'm gonna show you too. Also, I can't stop going like this. Tell me what's your motive. You guys know what I mean? That probably shouldn't have been my debut. The one, the TikTok one. Tell me what's your motive. Tell me. Okay. I don't, I can't do it. So clearly my skin has just not been great lately. I don't know what's going on with it. I have a pimple there and like dry, like just weird patches. And I bit my lip so much, as you guys know, 
my lips are dry. And I bit my lip and now I have this like cut on my lip and I'm just a mess. But tell me what to mode. <laughs> okay, so I ordered this. It's the Juno Antioxidant and Superfood Face Oil from Sunday Riley. Okay, not that scream. That was so dramatic. I really hate the fact that I just did that. Skincare by Hiram says it's the best thing that Sunday Riley makes. Also from Sunday Riley, I got, and I just bought all this stuff. I don't know why I feel like I have to say that, but it's not sponsored. I got the autocorrect, the eye cream. Okay, next up. Oh, I felt a little wild and got myself, I said some lip glosses. So I got myself this Dior, I know, Dior Lip Glow Oil. Maybe I have to shake it. Do you have to, it's like nail polish. This one is called Rosewood. Oh, and I really like that brush. Another, sorry, Dior. This one's a lip plumper. That was, that was, I just did an inside joke uh, with one of my best friends. I just did that for you guys. So you don't know what the fuck that was, but Jen will know. And this is the true test to see if Jen is watching this video. This is the Dior, the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip. You guys wouldn't get it, you weren't there. Okay, and I got this one in like a coral because I've heard that coral looks really good on me. Someone told me that in high school once and I literally haven't forgotten. Um, so, <laughs> so I got this. Next up, this is the Ilia. This is the Limitless Mash mascara, lash mascara. Oh, but this is the normal size, so I got the tester to try it out because I heard that this mascara was really good and it's amazing, you guys. You have to try this. You guys are like, you come to me for makeup tips all the time, so. Oh, I got The Ordinary. You, we know and love this brand in social media world. Um, I got the niacinamide because I heard that that is good for your skin. Oh, and I also got the Ilia. I have this in a different color. Do you guys give a fuck about this? I don't know, but it's kind of fun to talk to someone. I can talk to anyone all day. This is like the multi-stick, so it's like for, I use it for blush, and I have a different color, and this color is called, I put a spell on you. Ooh! Holy shit, that is nice. I really like that color. I don't know, I always like, I have like really bad imposter syndrome when it comes to wearing makeup because I'm like, you shouldn't be here, sweetie. Stick to not wearing any makeup. You don't know what the fuck you're doing, but I really wanna give it a try. On my journey to find my signature scent, as you guys remember, I got Rihanna's perfume, not Rihanna's perfume that she made, the apparent perfume that Rihanna wears. That's in another vlog called, like I tried to smell like Rihanna or something stupid, but this brand, Julia, it has a gun. I got like a little tester thing a long time ago, like two years ago, you guys. It's been a long time that I've been looking for my signature scent. There were two flavors that I loved. This one called Not A Perfume, that's like the classic Juliet has a gun scent. And this one's called Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I put the Rihanna one on you guys and I'm like, holy shit, I feel so good. Like I feel, like I love knowing that I smell good. And then sometimes I put it on, I'm like, my nose kind of burns. Also, my favorite perfume of all time is Creed. So that's my fancy perfume that I only wear on special occasions. But like if I could wear that every day and like just keep refilling it, I would, but I just shouldn't. Wow, you guys, I'm smelling this one, this one, and let me tell you, Mm, this smells really, really good. Like I, this is kind of like, oh, I don't like that sound. This is kind of like love at first sniff. Like Rihanna's, I was like, eh. I should probably stop calling it Rihanna's cause it's not hers, but I really don't like that sound. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Juliet has a gun and she's shooting off good smelling perfumes. Like it's her fucking job. Kind of is. Okay, so now I will be trying these out and we'll see which one I feel good about. But honestly, like they both smell kind of good. But I want I want a smell where people are like, oh, Kelsey's here. Like I, I hug someone and they're like, oh, it smells like Kelsey. Or like I let someone like borrow like a shirt and they're like, oh, it smells like Kelsey. So that is what I got from Sephora. I'm so excited. Wow, I love getting shit from Sephora. Not that I know what to do with it, but I love getting it. Um, I was like this close to getting concealer. Never had concealer before, but listen to this one, you guys. Maybe tomorrow I'll like wake up super early, do the fucking Peloton before my... I 
there's just no way I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I have such a hard time scheduling my day. It doesn't really matter, does it? Wow, from one haul to the next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a burrito haul. This is the burrito. I know I was like, it's a little easy weasy burrito. So I was trying to make myself feel better. It is the size of my hand, but it's like thin. It's like a little snack. It's like three bucks from El Pollo Loco. When I was a preschool teacher and I wasn't making any money, well, I still am a preschool teacher, just like, because I love it. But when I was a full-time preschool teacher, I really had to save my money. These are like $3 and they used to be $2.10. This was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. The best part about a burrito, guys, is the sauces. Sauces! Do you remember that vine? Oh, just sauces! Anyway, so this is a little sauce from El Pollo Loco. It's really good. I love Valentina. This is like the best hot sauce. Also, this truff hot sauce. This is the white truffle one. This is fucking amazing. It really is. Now this, Red Rooster. This is Louisiana hot sauce. Um, and I don't really think it goes that well with like Mexican food. Like it doesn't really go great with a burrito, but there's still something about it that I absolutely love. I feel like that girl on TikTok, all I do is talk about TikTok. I feel like that girl on TikTok who like does, she like makes, she has like really like weird ways that she eats things. I'm eating my burrito normally. <laughs> just Here, you want a first bite? When you just have a little fear that there's gonna be just like huge hair in your burrito. I don't wanna jinx anything, but so far so good. Okay. Next up on the haul, I ate my burrito, so good. So Set Active, who I've talked about on here before, I'm wearing Set Active right now. This is Set Active. They, ah! Excited. Oh my God, these are perfect. Oh, new logo, nice. Love the color. Oh, they're so soft. Matching sh little cropped tank. Not tank, tea. Ooh, little hooded sweatshirt to match the rest. Wow, that is so exciting. So thank you for watching. Come again, or don't. We have all of these new pots and pans that we got for Christmas that we want to use and um, that we haven't used yet. We- Look at how fucking beautiful these are. They really are. These we we wanted to order because we were being lazy and then we saw these puppies and we were like oh no we're whipping something up tonight I was I found this recipe online that we could make but then Cody he was trying to kind of like freestyle one we got beans all right let's see if we can make this we're gonna make lentil red lentil doll come on doll let's let's whip it up okay we are making it the lentils are in we ordered some naan. This girl gave us the recipe for this one. Paige, thank you. Look at this, you guys. You know what, I gotta say, this actually looks pretty damn good. We were a little worried for a second. I'd say a little bit more salt, but I would say stop playing with me, that's delicious. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hey, what's Hello. up? Yeah, that slaps. Hey, what's up, it's Steph Curry. How do you like the dish? Oh, because it has curry it's, powder it's in it? It's a curry dish, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we added some tomatoes and spinach and a little tiny bit of sugar and... We put more than a little sugar in there. What, did, what else do we... Lemon juice. Damn, look how yummy this looks. Our naan still isn't here, so I have no idea what to do. <laughs> the naan came. This turned out like just... I'm just really pleasantly surprised. It's really, really good. I've been trying not to eat mine because I was waiting for the naan to get here. Hello, my sweet, beautiful people. It's me, Kelsey. Um, happy Thursday. Thursday is my favorite day of the week, besides Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's pretty exciting stuff happening over here. I'll tell you everything that's been going on this morning in a second, but before I do that, you guys, I am trying out. Remember yesterday when I was like, I'm gonna wake up early and do the Peloton? I didn't do any of that, but I am going to try the stuff on my face, <laughs> which is exciting. Wait, Cody, don't need that. I have a couple questions for you. I want to eat so I've been hungry for the last hour and a half. The drama every time. People are always like this your vlogs are just little clips of Cody complaining. It's like every time I want to do something you go, "All right, hold on one second. Hey guys, so time to do my skincare routine." So it's Cody who watched his first skincare by Hiram video. No, I didn't. I didn't watch it yet, but Oh I will. my god. Well, you have to. Well, I have it open on my computer, but I was going to eat it. I was going to watch it after we eat lunch, so but that's not going to happen apparently. So I mean, you want me to have bad skin and be miserable all the time? No, I want you to have good skin and be miserable all the time. <laughs> okay, I 
just washed my face. And now I'm going to put the niacinamide on my face. Sounds like poison. I know, but apparently it's very good for your skin. What does it do? Um, it doodly do. It it's supposed to like even out weird skin tone. Like if you have like red splotches and stuff, which like I do. Okay. It's supposed to like even out your skin. It's supposed to be good for sensitive skin. I feel like I just put a fuckload on. It's the one thing he says, don't put too much on. Otherwise you'll get eczema. <laughs> That's also one of my issues with skincare is that I get so scared that it's gonna fuck up my skin that I barely put any on. <laughs> So it like really doesn't do anything. What do I do? Skincare. What do I do? You should wash your face first. That's what you should do. I just want to eat lunch. <laughs> You're the one who's like, let me put this on. It would I like to use this Great Barrier Relief Hiram told me about. And I think it actually works. Now I'm going to use my new eye cream. How long does it take for skincare routines to actually like, for you to notice results? I think like a week. And you just Here. do this and then you do this? Yep, put it on. Okay, so I put a little bit of that on my ring finger. And then just kind of- We got some under eye sauce here? Yeah. I need some of that. Look at this. Okay, my face feels like Bernie kind of. A little Bernie Sanders action on my face right now. Time to Something eat. Like that. Oh, um, my skin's looking good. My skin is not looking good. It's like red everywhere. Are you guys ready? Cody and I have been working on this all day. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Hey, hey. Friday. Um, let me think of things that I'm gonna do today. I don't have anything to do. I'm drinking a coffee. I'm eating a burrito. Coffee, good. Burrito, not good. We're in the car. We're in the car. So Cody was like, I have to go to the gas station. And I was like, oh. He said, do you want to come with me? Which was his first mistake. I and had to pick up some blunt wraps. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was true? <laughs> some Swisher sweets. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not true. So he was like, do you want to come? And I was like, absolutely. And hey, while we're out, you want to go to Starbucks? I got a chai. I got a chili. So I got a chai with three espresso shots and sweet vanilla cream foam. And I was going to try it. I am going to try it really quick. I'm going to take a sip. How's everybody doing? I know this this is a little bit of a funky vlog, okay? So I didn't post one this week or I guess last week when you're watching this. I don't know. I, might, I was just like, I estimated things wrong and I thought I would have a video for this week and I don't. Yeah, I didn't, like I started filming a vlog and then I stopped and then I filmed the dessert with Kelsey when we tried baking the cookies again and then I never picked vlogging back up and then the beginning of this vlog is when, like a couple weeks ago and then now this is this time. You don't care probably that much, but yeah, sorry it's been a little bit, I don't know, I just got confused, but I'm happy to see you guys again. I miss you. And today is actually quite possibly the most exciting day these vlogs has ever seen because I'm going to get my vaccine today. They opened it up to teachers, so I made an appointment, and today is the big day. I'm so, so excited. I'm getting vaccinated at my the college that I went to, so since we're gonna be there, I am gonna show Cody around a little bit, show him my old hood, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's not gonna be as exciting as Duke, but it is exciting for me. Cody is drinking a Coke. Coca-Cola With and coffee, coffee. In it. Caramel flavor. This is my first one I've ever had, but I'm addicted to them now. Let me try. So that sucks. Oh, that's weird. That's crazy. So, going to get vaccinated, doing a little tour of Northridge, getting some Korean corn dogs. I love watching Korean muk mukbangs. My lovely editor, Kaylee, um, she made a video eating them, and I was like, back on the Korean fried corn dog train. And now I haven't stopped thinking about them and there's a place in Northridge where we're going that makes them. So we're gonna get some. I'm officially vaxxed up. Woo! It was like super easy. We weren't allowed to film or take any pictures while we were doing it. I definitely think I'm like a hypochondriac in these situations. Like I'm like, can I, can I breathe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my sticker on.
walked around campus and it was very fun. Showed Cody some old buildings that I used to go to class in. It was fun, it was really, I really enjoyed walking around, seeing my old university and we drove by my old apartment and my old sorority house before, because the corn dog place is not yet open. So we got a little treat at Starbucks before our big, big treat. And I got that frickin' matcha with chai in it that's going around. So this is a matcha with oat milk and three pumps of chai. Pretty good. That's so fucking good. That's the best chai, that's the best thing I've ever had. This is the best thing Cody's ever had, you guys. That's so good. This is actually really good. There's the corn dog place, two hands, and it seems like there's already a line. Oh, I've literally waited my whole life for this. They smell like churros. <laughs> These look insane. This is like pretty fucked up, honestly. Cheese pull, bitch. Wait, is that mine or is that yours? Uh, there's no way this can't be good. It's <laughs> cheese dough deep fried and with sugar on top. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm literally waited so, so long. I can't, I like truly cannot believe this. I'm freaking out. This part is all cheese and then this part is all hot dog. But it's like, what if I want a hot dog with cheese on it? That's normal. I'm glad this is the best day of my life. <laughs> I've never had anything like this before. It's amazing. I cannot believe it, you guys. I'm actually freezing now. I feel like I'm living one of my lifelong dreams. Is that pathetic? Mm. Chili's such a good boy when we eat. I'm literally like dropping flakes of corn dog on him and he's just laying here. Also, look at cheese pull goals. Today actually might be one of the best days of my life. I got to take you around to see some. Which I love. I love CSUN. I love you. I love you too. I got to get vaccinated. And I'm eating these fucking corn dogs that I've dreamed of forever. Are you kidding? I'm doing cheese pulls all day. Look at this. And then try the cheddar one. <laughs> I'm so happy. Will you take a picture of me with the full one? Glizzy McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Did you make that up? Yeah. I'm in heaven. I right, love you guys. Thank you for watching that. That was, I just lived out a dream. Eating those in front of the camera. Goodbye. Well, not goodbye forever in this vlog, but just goodbye for now.